Are you interested in journalism and wondering if Northwestern is the right school for you? If so, you clicked on the right video. All right, what's up y'all? My name is Alexia. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So I'm currently a sophomore here at Northwestern studying journalism with a minor in Japanese language and my YouTube channel covers a wide range of topics, food, fitness, and fun. Also life as a college student here at Northwestern. So if that's anything that you're interested in, be sure to hit that subscribe button. That way you can be notified every time I upload a new video. So with that being said, I actually am a purple preview host at Northwestern, which means that I get paired to prospective students to help answer their questions about what life is like here at Northwestern. And one of the most common asked questions that I get is what is it like being a journalism student here at Northwestern so I thought I would take this video to dive a little bit deeper into my personal experience studying journalism here so first things first Northwestern is the number one school in the country for journalism it is a widely known thing I actually had no idea what this school even was until I asked my journalism teacher in high school what the number one journalism program I could attend was and I am so so happy to be here I think the fact that we are number one is super evident through our vast alumni network the amount of funding that's here for students and also just the resources and opportunities that you get here as a journalism student I really think that the education that you'll get here is unparalleled and you really won't get these experiences anywhere else to dive a bit more into the specifics of what it's like to be a journalism student here so Medill is pretty inclusive, although they only take a small class of around 100 to 150 students per year, they do take a range of kids. A lot of the kids here were the editor-in-chief or some sort of newspaper experience in high school, but there are also students here that have never done journalism before in their lives, so it's definitely a mix. In your first year here as a journalism student, there are three required courses that you have to take, one per quarter, and they take you through the fundamentals of writing stories and also producing video reports, and then there's one class about the philosophy of modern journalism that just kind of takes you through like an overview and really introduces you to the subject. I think the first year sequence, although it might be a little bit tedious if you have previous journalism experience, it's just a nice way to lay the groundwork and to learn the way Medill works, what the professors expect of you, and to just get to know other students in the journalism program. Your second year here as a Medill student, you have a lot more freedom in the classes that you want to take. You can take multiple different journalism classes if you're interested in that. There are types of magazine writing, newspaper writing, video classes, podcasting, documentaries, so many different classes if you're interested in all of that stuff. Your second year, there are two classes that you're required to take. You need to take one active reporting class, Journalism 301, and then you need to take one media history class. Also, sometime in your academic career here, you need to take media law and ethics, but it's something that I'm taking right now. So you could kind of get it out of the way early on if that's something you wanted to do as well. Beyond those I think that was six required classes. Everything else in the realm of journalism here is completely up to you. So you can figure out exactly what it is that you enjoy in the world of journalism. As I mentioned, there are plenty of different disciplines that you can explore. For me, I've tried a few classes in feature writing and magazines and video reporting and broadcasting. So there's tons of different stuff. The professors here are super knowledgeable and you could learn a lot from them, especially if you take the time to really form a one-on-one -on -one relationship with your professor. They are more than willing to help you learn anything it is that you're interested in. There are a few cool opportunities that come with being a student in Medill. So first are the Medill on the Hill program that is politics-based reporting that's done in DC. And then there's also a Bay Area Immersion program, which is a more technological-based reporting program that is based in San Francisco. There we go. Okay, so those two programs. Also, Medill runs a variety of classes called Journeys, like J-O-U-R-N-E-Y-S. These classes are courses that you do a little bit of learning here in Evanston and then you take a trip to somewhere abroad with your class. So I know in the winter quarter they had classes that went to Japan, Israel, and London and then next year I'm actually taking a class that does a trip to Barcelona. So all super cool programs that you could really study super niche topics and then get to go on a trip for your journalism as well which is really interesting. But beyond the classroom I actually think one of the best reasons to attend Northwestern for journalism is the different extracurriculars that you can get yourself involved in. So Northwestern has so many different student publications that you could get yourself involved in from if you are interested in broadcast you could join Northwestern news network we have multiple different shows there's also MMN sports night which is for sports broadcasting there's WNUR there's the daily northwestern there's north by northwestern there's spoon there are just so many different journalism things that you could get yourself involved in whether you like audio video text reporting broadcasting all these different things and what's great about these clubs is that there's no barrier to entry they will take you with no experience and train you from the ground up and it's a great way to meet people of all four grade levels studying journalism and really get some hands-on experience 
opinions from the get-go in stuff that you're interested in. Another reason why I really love studying journalism here is that it gives you the opportunity to explore things that you're genuinely interested in. And I found that in almost all my classes in the reporting style assignments that I've had to do, you have complete creative freedom in what it is that you want to report about. So it gives you the chance to use your press credentials as a Medill student to kind of speak to people that you might not have gotten the chance to speak to otherwise, get tours of places, dive in and learn more about things that you're curious about. So it's been a really cool experience, you know, just getting to explore more in things that I really care about. My last point here is that being a journalism student is not that difficult. It definitely is a lot of work and you will get exactly what you put into it, out of it, if that makes any sense. The harder you work, the more gains that you're going to see. But compared to my friends here who are engineers or pre-med majors who are up always studying super late, doing math and grinding and stuff like that, journalism is not that rigorous. And I think it is definitely one of the things that has really allowed me to enjoy my experience at Northwestern because I don't always feel super tied down by homework assignments and tests and exams. Rather, I just have the freedom to explore things that I'm interested in and learn hands-on. Obviously, you could tell I really, really enjoy being a journalism major here and I super duper do recommend it. But a few downsides that I would talk about is number one, a lot of journalism requires you to really put yourself out there. And a lot of the Medill assignments, especially we have a few person on the street assignments and other things with super short deadlines. So it really forces you to kind of put yourself out there, talk to strangers, really be on top of the ball. And if this is something that scares you or something that you don't think you're super good at, you might not love studying journalism here. Another thing that I want to emphasize, which is a little bit more prevalent in the first year of journalism here, is the Medill F. It's something that is infamous in the school of Medill. It's that any factual error or grammatical error that is found in your first year assignments are likely to be rewarded in F as your grade. And if you're someone who is super, super caring about your GPA and all that stuff, you might not love getting an F for making a simple error. And it's something that I personally got one of these last year. A lot of my friends have gotten them and it is a learning curve. It's a really good way for you to really hone in on your fact checking skills and make sure that you're checking for grammatical errors and stuff like that. But it's definitely an unpleasant experience in my opinion. My last point here, and it's not necessarily related to Medill, but it's about studying journalism as a whole, is that a lot of your work will revolve around other people's schedules. The reason is you cannot do an interview unless the other person that you're trying to interview is available and ready to talk to you. So I would say that even though in traditional times I might not have so much work to do, there are definitely times over the weekend and on week like Friday night that I might have to give up time to do an interview. So really think about this and how being a journalism major might fit into your own schedule and be willing to sacrifice some of your own time to get the stories that you really need to report on. That's about it for this video. I wanted to keep it a little bit short. I know I had a lot of thoughts to throw out at you guys, but I wanted to make sure that you had a nice holistic view about what journalism is like here at Northwestern. Obviously, I focus most of my energy onto broadcast and video reporting, so I can't speak super duper well about what it's like to be an editorial writer or do someone Thing in the realm of like audio or podcasting but I have friends in those realms and they say that they really enjoy it as well so I think holistically journalism here is honestly really great if you have any additional questions about things that I didn't answer in this video feel free to leave a comment down below or you can also dm me on instagram at live like lex I will leave the username right up here but yes I honestly really could not recommend journalism here any more than I already do and I really love it so I hope that this video helps to give you a little bit more clarity on what it's like to study journalism here and I hope that you choose to come here for journalism so with that being said thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great day